So your teacher has signed an essay or paper and it has to be in MLA format. This video will take you through the steps to format your paper correctly. Get into the habit of renaming your files before you even get started. Always check with your teacher to see if they have a preferred file naming protocol. If they do not have one, I recommend including your last name, the assignment, and your class period. You can separate these with underscores. For example, Smith underscore Senior Project underscore 7. In MLA formatting, your font must be a professional font, such as Times New Roman or Arial. It also needs to be in size 12. Now we will set your spacing to double. Select the Page Layout tab. Be sure that before and after are set to zero point because it will mess up your spacing. Find the small arrow in the corner and click it. This expands the paragraph settings. For line spacing, select double. Click OK. Now we need to start setting up the text of the paper. In the header, you will need to have your last name and page number. Click the Insert tab. Click Page Number. Select the one that is at the top of the page and justified to the right. Before the number, type your last name, capitalized, and hit the space bar once. Select the name and number, and return to the Home tab, reselect Times New Roman, and 12. Select Header and Footer Tools and click Close Header and Footer. Now we are back in the body of the document. We will be creating a heading. In the upper left hand corner, type your first name and last name capitalized. Hit Enter once. Type your teacher's name. Be sure that it is spelled correctly. Hit enter once. Type the name of the course you are in. Hit enter once. Now you will need to type the date. In MLA, the number of the date comes first, then the month, followed by the year. There is no comma. Hit enter once. On this line, you will be writing your title. On the Home tab, click the Center Alignment button. Do not bold, italicize, or underline your title. Type your title and press Enter. You are now ready to type the body of your paper. Be sure to press tab once to indent. At the end of your paper, you need to have your sources. In MLA format, this section is called Works Cited. This section must be on its own page. Instead of pressing Enter over and over to get to a new page, click the Insert tab. Click Page Break. No matter where you type, anything below this line will be on a new page. For the heading of this section, select Center Alignment again. Type Works Cited. For more information on MLA citations and formatting, Visit the Purdue Online Writing Lab, or OWL. Select MLA 2009 Formatting and Style Guide. On the left-hand side is a menu of MLA information. Let's review. Now you can rename a file using a file naming protocol, 
change font type and size, modify spacing, create a proper header and heading, correctly format a title, and set up a Works Cited page. You also have access to more information at Owl Purdue if you ever get stuck. Good luck writing your paper. I'm sure you'll ace it.